Hi guys, Hamster here. And today, um, I think we're nearing the end of my AR-15 project. This is basically, I think, a culmination of uh, a project I've been working on for about the past two years on my AR-15. I had three, three simple goals two years ago when I got this rifle out of the closet and decided to do some work on it. One was to increase my knowledge um, on the weapon system. Two was to increase my skill level with, with, with the rifle. And three was to uh, improve the rifle and make it as effective and efficient as possible. Over the course of the past two years, I've tried quite a bit of equipment. Some I really liked, uh, some I thought I would like, um, some that just didn't work out. I went in several different directions. I've tried several different things. And hopefully some of the stuff I've shared with you has helped you make better choices. Um, this rifle started out as a fixed carry handle rifle and it has since changed to a flat top with a removable carry handle so I've changed the upper receiver put the same barrel back on that receiver um, made quite a few changes to the rifle tried quite a few things and this is basically the evolution of everything I've tried so far this is where it has led me this is the current setup I am the most happy with. Everything is subject to change. As I grow, as I learn, as I try to improve, as equipment improves, it may change in the future. But this is where my path has led me so far. And what we have on the rifle now is the Midwest Industry Quad Rail, which is a simple rail system. It replaces the stock handguard goes on and off exactly like the stock handguard which is all I really need I want something that is easy to remove and makes it just as easy to service the weapon as the factory handguard did this flashlight has been a fantastic flashlight <laughs> it has lived on several different places on my rifle it has lived on the left side the right side um, it's lived primarily on the left side it's ran with the tape switch, without the tape switch, the tape switch on a vertical grip, uh, tape switch mounted on, on the rail, on a rail mounted tape switch. And what I found actually works the best is the flashlight lives on the left side of the rifle now. It seems to be the best. Running the standard tail cap. I tried everything high tech and it came down to this was the simplest and most effective solution. It just works. I've tried the vertical grips, tried several different types. All of them seem to put the, the center line of the, the, the weight too high above and it did not increase the stability. It did not make me a better shooter. And thus has led me to the new AFG2 grip from Magpul, which I really like. The rifle started out green and it's now in Magpul flat dark earth. Um, running small rail sections of uh, some of their little ladder rail protectors here, about four and a half inches worth. Not to protect my hands, the rail's not going to cut me, the rail's not going to hurt me. These provide a little more traction. Initially, I like to ride my sling up farther on the rifle. But then, after a period of use, I find myself bringing the rifle up, I'd be grabbing sling and it just didn't feel right. It just didn't work. It didn't seem like it clicked and, and worked. I started off with a standard carry sling. Quickly found out that that wasn't effective for anything but carrying. Then from there I went to a three point sling and that was much better. It worked. And for some people it, it, it's maybe the appropriate choice. For me it still just didn't quite seem exactly like I needed it. And the two point sling 
seemed to be a better better fit for me and it seemed to work to carry the weight to help me with the rifle um, the sling I'm currently running is a uh, Blue Force Vicker sling I'm extremely happy with this sling um, I'm running the sling mount much farther back on the rifle and I really like it right here it works perfectly well for me it's a Midwest Industries mount one of the things I like about it is the quick disconnect it makes it really easy to take the sling off if I'm checking my zero or I'm cleaning the weapon I don't need the sling on there it gets in the way but it's, it's a fantastic sling recently I have uh, installed a the Magpul bad lever. I'm still getting used to it. I still forget and and go to the bolt release the old way, which is um, which isn't real bad because the, the bad lever still allows me if I get in a stressful situation or I'm moving quick and I don't and I I just revert back to the way I used to do it. I can still do it that way. But I definitely like this. It's definitely an improvement. And I think in time, as I get more used to it, it, it will make me just better. I have gotten rid of the old, uh, the old A2 uh, grip with the finger shelf. And I'm just running a standard uh, Magpul MOE grip. It's a great grip. One piece design. Uh, my hands, every size, it works fine. I don't really feel the need for adjustability. So that's a great piece of gear. On the... On the AFG 2 grip, it is available. It comes with a finger shelf. And you can take it out or put it in. I like it without. I've tried it both, and um, this just feels comfortable for me. And I'm able to get the same, basically the same grip, either strong hand or weak hand. That was real important to me, be able to transition and shoot this rifle strong hand or weak hand, and have basically the same grip on the on the weapon. One of the other upgrades I really really like is this charging handle. It's a Voltor gunfighter. Great, great charging handle. Um, with the optic in the way, it makes it a lot easier to, uh, to use the charging handle. The optic, you guys have seen that before. Um, it's fantastic. This acts like a red dot. It's magnified. Um, illuminated day or night. I mean, it's it's a Trigicon ACOG. It, it is what it is. It's a it's a fantastic top of line optic. Extremely happy. Um, one of the best things I like about this sling is this quick release in the back, which really allows me to uh, between that and the, and the front mount, I can get the sling out of the way in a hurry. Um, so this is the evolution of the two year project. Working on the rifle. And uh, this is where trying all the different pieces of equipment out, seeing what works, what doesn't work. This is where it has led me to. So you don't need fancy tape switches. You don't need all the vertical grips. Um, some of the gear you think looks great. It's just that it looks great. You need to try stuff and make sure it works. And it will be a process um, of trial and error to find out what works. And this is something now, the way it's set up, just works. Extremely happy with it. Um, I did mount the AFG a little farther back. I left myself a small bit of rail up here. Because I do have a bipod that I use occasionally. And it's a Harris bipod. And I have it with a arms quick release mount. So I can quickly throw this on and off the rifle when it's appropriate. I don't want it to live on the rifle all the time. It's just not necessary. This is already is heavy enough. I don't need to make it any heavier. So this is uh, basically I think where my rifle is going to sit in the configuration. It's taking me about two years to educate myself, um, to improve my level of proficiency, to prove my knowledge, um, and to uh, improve my weapon to be a much more effective and efficient rifle so it's been a fun two years of trying different things but I think for this rifle I think we've uh, until something comes along I think that's a lot better I think this is the configuration that uh, it's pretty much gonna stay in so 
This is pretty much the conclusion of my AR-15 project over the past two years. Um, never stop learning. I learn something new every week. And uh, that's the great part about doing stuff like this. Is I'm constantly learning and I'm constantly improving. That's what makes uh, this hobby so much fun. So, hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the rifle and some of the other things. So, thanks for watching.